Hi guys, welcome. This is the overview video of my huge series on linking your existing digital planner, notebook, template to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts, okay? Um, the key word in that sentence is existing. So if you've probably noticed that a lot of designers are embedding shortcuts into their planners so that way you can, you know, keep, you know, add an event or add a reminder or view events or view reminders in a planner. Okay. And that's fabulous. Go them. Right. And when people would ask me if I wanted to do that, I simply said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not embedding it in there. And I have my reasons, and one of them I didn't, I never share my reasons because I wasn't ready yet to share, but is because you can do it yourself. And I feel like it's just super limiting to put it in the planner. Um, what I plan to teach you over these 25 or so videos is it's so much more flexible. You can pick and choose exactly what you want. You can pick what you want right? What, what, what do you want to do? Where do you want to put it? And how do you want it to look? You have control as opposed to having me decide, well, this is, you're going to add an event and it's going to go here or you're, it's just, I have so many more options for you and it's so easy to do. And if you, plus if you do buy a planner and from somebody, um, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. I know what I was going to say. <laughs> With that technology in it, you still have to like set up the shortcut. Like there's still things you have to do. So if you already have to do something, why not just set it up yourself and it gives you control. So, you know, you see this little icon here, right? This is two pieces. It's a link and then an icon put over it. It's made to look like it goes with my planner, right? But um, because that's how I designed it. And I'm going to show you all of this, but you can put this anywhere. And the thing is with the way that other designers are doing it, you know, it's in a planner, but what about the bullet journalers? Maybe they would like to have this. Or how about people that do undated planners or journalers? Or there's just so many reasons why I wanted to give you guys um, something that you could do yourself. You are in control, again, of what it is, how it looks, where it goes, etc. And so I started and then it just snowballed and I was like, oh, maybe they want to do this. Maybe they want to do that. So I have so many videos and it all follows the exact same process. Um, I have, well, let me just show you. So I have 25 videos and as I'm filming this, filming this, my website, I am redoing my website, but I created a little dummy thing to show you. Each shortcut is going to be the same way. You go to my website. There's information in the description of this video. It's all set up the same way. You're going to read about what the shortcut does. And there's going to be a video that's going to tell you what it is and how to set it up. You can either choose to create the shortcut yourself right? Or you can download the shortcut from me. Um, and then there's going to be a link. And then we will set it up together in the video. There, you'll fill out the required information. And then you'll add the shortcut link to GoodNotes or NoteShelf or Notability. Again, I have videos about and to show you how to do that. And then I have a whole troubleshooting, which is not a big deal. It really isn't. It's so easy, you guys. It's just... Uh, so easy. So I have videos on how to, well, let me show you. Let's go into shortcuts. I have videos on how to add an event, um, get events. So if you want to view your events, like here, but do you want to view your events from one calendar or all calendars? I have options for that. You can add a reminder. You can add a reminder or you can view your reminders from one list, all lists. So add a reminder, right? You can view reminders. 
there you go. You can mark reminders as complete all while you're in your what you know working. Um, I have I have separate shortcuts and I have bundled shortcuts to keep it contained. I have just uh, vague, not vague. <laughs> I have simple like shortcuts like here. Um, I created a shortcut that will pull up your frequently used templates. So you can just, oh wait, that's not it. It's right here. Uh, your frequently used templates in GoodNotes, right? So not just your planner. Obviously I have a shortcut to add your GoodNotes planner. So you just type on, you know, tap on 24, it opens your planner. But this one will open your favorite or most used um, templates, notebooks, etc. I have automation. Automation is probably the most important thing nobody's using. So go watch the automation video because it's automating and it's so that you'll never lose a event or reminder again. I've just really taken months to develop this for you guys. So pick and choose the shortcuts that interest you. I've tried my best to keep them short. And I'm sorry that I know because see, I'm, I'm making this overview video. It's the last video I'm making. And it's probably why my voice sounds hoarse, but I tried to keep them short. Um, I tried to talk fast. I'm sorry. But, um, I tried to make it as consistent as possible so that, but also very easy to follow for you. So hopefully you can watch what you, pick what you are interested in and set it up. And uh, I have free icons on my site. Uh, and I am going to have, um, for customers, Is if you're a customer of mine, you know that I have free stickers for customers. I will be turning those icons also into colored as well. Um, where are they? There you go. So I just hope that, um, that you really have fun with us. And I wanted to make this just a really nice free resource for everybody. I mean, I don't care if you're a customer of mine or not. I just, I want to help people because I just don't think that it needs to be embedded into one specific document. I think that it can go anywhere and you can take this. And obviously now, <laughs> obviously I mean, if you're watching this video, you're interested in, you know, having this technology to, you know, add a reminder while working, you know, on your planner or while, you know, studying for a test or whatever. I mean, obviously, you know, Apple makes everything so nice where you can just slide things over. You can, um, you know, do split screen. There's just so much you can do and they make it easy, but it's fun, right? I mean, it's fun to be able to, let's see, what do we have here? Add either. So like this one is add either. So what do you want to do? Do you want to add a calendar event or add a reminder? Now, obviously you could swipe out or you could do split screen or you can, um, you know, have it slide over. But I mean, this is just, it's, it's fun, right? So, I mean, I have like in my house, like I have all these I, we're very automated in our household. So like I say one word to uh, Alexa and I say good night or whatever. And she runs this whole routine. Obviously I could get up and turn off lights by myself, but we have everything automated. So, I mean, it's fun. So I hope you have fun with us. I hope this makes your life easier. Um, be sure that if you are new to setting up shortcuts, right, you do this when you have time, right? Because anytime you're learning something new, if you are learning, if this is new to you, um, you know, don't be in a hurry because you're going to want, you're going to need to be on my website and follow along or, you know, watch the video, follow along. So make sure you have patience and time. Okay. And I guarantee it'll, it'll be great. And um, anyway, I hope, I hope it helps you. So I hope you enjoy the videos and I'm sorry if sometimes I am losing my voice or I talk too fast. I'm just trying to save you guys as much time as possible. So, cause I know time is precious. So, but anyway, I hope, I hope you like it. And remember you can take these and you can move these into any document you want. So enjoy you guys. And thank you again for watching. Bye.